that. Thank you for gifting us up to Dea's persona personal toes. Oh, Dea's personal toes, sucker. Why did you gift us up to myself? I'm kidding. I hate feet so much, dude. Not gonna lie, though, if she asked, I'm not gonna be rude, you know? Oh, fuck. I needed to pee. YouTube, welcome to Act 1, Part 2. Wait, this is the event? Why did the event just randomly fucking start? Please tell me Al Haytham and Doria here. Are we gonna meet them all? Monka? Oh god. It's so deathly quiet, it's kind of scary. Why is it so deathly quiet? Come and have a good look yourself. <laughs> Traditional spices of the highest Come. quality. Made with pride and experience. <laughs> You've got a deal. I can't thank you enough for always looking after my business. Oh, hell yeah. Believe me, I'm not making this up. Several Eremite mercenary groups are nearly in open conflict. But does the core of 30 care? What? And that's not all. No at Did all. you know <laughs> that? Wow. Talk about hurly burly. This place is busy. Oh. Well, Guess that's only to be expected for the largest port in Sumeru. Uh, maybe it's because of what Dia told us earlier, but Baiman can't seem to shake the feeling that there's also danger lurking in these crowds. There probably is. Ooh. Let's get our bearings so we can start looking for leads. We know that whatever the Academia lost is related to the gods. <gasps> but other than that, we don't have much else to go on. Hmm. Asfa told us to try posing as academia students while asking around. Paimon checked the Akasha on the way here, and the academia doesn't seem to have any research facilities in Port Ormos. Wait, what? Paimon doesn't get it. Won't we look even more suspicious going around saying we're academia students and asking about the stolen item? Uh, we should figure that out before doing anything else. Figure out that out could be crucial for the rest of our investigation here. Well, given all the people that come through here every day, if there's any information to be found, time on bets we could find it in the market. Oh, I don't Let's like this, dude. See what we come up with. I'm nervous. Why did they have to talk about a danger lurking in the fucking darkness or whatever, dude? I don't like it. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, how can I help you too? All the information. Uh there, we would like to ask you a question. Um, do students from the academia ever come to Port Ormos? <laughs> God of damn course. it, Paimon. Especially around this time of year. <sighs> students from Sumero City that are about to graduate often come to Port Ormos to cut loose a little. Many people often talk about how hard it is to get accepted into the academia, let alone graduate. But those who finish their studies and go on to become full-time researchers at the academia have it even harder. Sure, oh. we may not be Sumero City, but Port Ormos offers beautiful scenery and a stress-free environment. That's very fair, it Some does. Some even say it's good luck to come to Port Ormos, so students and researchers come flocking here when things get to be too much at the academia. Ah, you see over there? Uh-huh. Those are students from the academia. Oh, God. They look pretty serious, maybe even a little worried. They've been looking worried and miserable ever since they got here a few days ago. If you ask me, the life of a merchant is better. So long as the Akasha teaches us what we need, then life is good. Hmm. That's fair. Those students seem to be discussing something. Let's see if we can listen in. We don't need to spy, I guess. Well, we're spying. Okay, fuck it. We're actually fucking spying it. Oh my god. It's no good. I've tried asking around, but I haven't been able to learn anything useful. Not to mention that a bunch of scary-looking Aramite mercenaries have been posted along the streets now. There's been a lot of fighting between the different Aramite factions in Port Ormos. We choose to move on our own, that it would be wise to steer clear of them. Especially the group that's constantly shouting some stuff about the Scarlet King and some resurrection. Yo, look at that symbol on his hat. I heard the of Regzar is starting to get fed up with them. What was that group called again? Ein something or other? They're called Ein El Akhmar. Today, I heard that the thing we're after might be in their possession at the moment. Oh, that's Wait, it's gotta be again? the divine knowledge capsule, dude. Don't you see? Many of the Aramites in Port Ormos deal with trading this kind of thing. 
They're usually pretty wary of outsiders, but not so with students of the academia. It's because the kind of goods that students are looking for aren't the kind of goods that Aramites are after. As long as they know you're a student, then deals can be made. I've heard that Aino Hakmar likes to set up shop at the Jafar Tavern. Supposedly, if you're willing to part with half a million Mora, they'll give you info on anything. Wait, wait did you say half a million? <laughs> if information alone costs that much, then how could we ever afford to buy what we're looking for? You can't. Uh, I'll buy it. I guess we might as well give up on trying to graduate this way. I wouldn't oh. worry too much. Our field of research is very niche. Who else could possibly be after that kind of shady knowledge? I bet it's practically worthless to anyone aside from us. I'll pay a million. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Then the only thing left for us now is to find a way in. <laughs> Why don't we all just pool our money together and pay for the information? Whoa! Did you hear that? A niche field of research and shady knowledge? It all sounds pretty suspicious to Paimon. Mm. Is knowledge something people just buy and sell like that? It's very suspicious indeed. Whatever was stolen from the academia was also related to knowledge. So, what's your plan? Let's go to Jafar Tavern? Try talking to one of the Aramites. The Tavern. Wait, didn't you hear what they just said? Buying I'll information is going to cost us half a million more. Have you lost your mind? Reliable information is worth a price. Oh, all right. Paima never thought she'd agree to parting with that kind of mora. But if you know what you're doing, then we should give it a shot. Honestly, I would actually pay it. In game, of course. But I I'd pay it, dude. It's it's got to be reliable, right? And we get the information first. Oh god, the echoes in the caves sound so fucking realistic. This is the place we heard those students talking about. Damn it. Let's uh, find a seat somewhere and see if we can spot the group they mentioned. Wait, what is Maha? Oh, I just wanted to look at a name, Mahabata. Oh, you've arrived. What the Please fuck? take a seat. Okay. Hello. So they think that they can go toe to toe with the boss? Ha! <laughs> Once we reclaim the power of the Scarlet King, they'll be the first that the boss punishes. Oh God. <laughs> They're nothing to be afraid of. Our main rival now is the Caracal Battalion. They've also amassed a significant amount of more this time, so we mustn't underestimate them. How can the Caracal Battalion compete with the boss when they're nothing but a bunch of money-grubbing opportunists out for a quick mora? Yeah, with boss's fervent devotion, he'll be able to use this power to bring our god back this time. Oh, fuck. Huh. All these guys talk about is the Scarlet King, so they're probably the ones we're looking for. Probably. <laughs> Greater Lord Ruka Devata, that traitor and her followers must not be spared. The day will come when the Scarlet King exacts vengeance on Sumeru, and all of them shall be punished. A traitor? Yeah, Paimon was wondering what they meant too. We should ask about that if we get the chance later. Interesting. Interesting. Huh? Who are you? What do you want? Uh, I'm a student from the Academia. A student? Huh. <laughs> What's a student from Sumeru City doing in Port Ormos? Studying. I'm looking for some info about a certain something. Ah, well, if it's info you want, you've come to the right place. The question is, can you afford it? Fuck yeah. Had him 50 more. Huh? What is this, some kind of joke? I'm a student, oh! motherfucker. <laughs> Sorry. He must have grabbed the wrong amount. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Undercutting them. Fine. Right now. That's a lot of did. <laughs> Here, this is the merchant's address. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it there. Hmm? Well, what are you waiting for? I just have one more question. Oh, that's right. We heard you mention the Scarlet King just now. We're actually interested to know more because... What? Uh, because we're archaeology students. Really got to let... Me do the talking. Fine. Since you've already handed over the Mora, I guess I can throw in a little extra info. Thank you, Tarek. As you can see, members of Ain al Ahmar are devout believers of the Scarlet King. Obviously. Years ago, the Scarlet King founded the great desert nation that was our homeland. Pog? It was an advanced civilization, far beyond anything you'll see in present day Sumeru. The Scarlet King was the rightful god of wisdom, but he was betrayed by a companion he trusted. She even stripped him of his title, God of Wisdom. Damn. So, you mean the traitor was... 
Greater Lord Ruka Devata, yes. That shameless wretch destroyed the Scarlet King's civilization, and our ancestors were forced to flee to this land where we were made to suffer the tyranny of our enemies. God damn. Furthermore, she conspired with the Academia to cover up the truth of her actions and create the merciful and benevolent facade for which she is now known. Ugh, just thinking about it sickens me. <sighs> but the story doesn't end there, oh no. The Scarlet King isn't truly dead. The voice of the Oracle has been heard in the desert, prophesying his resurrection. Mark my words, our God shall return. <laughs> Mark and my words. Comes, all followers of the traitor and all the desert dwellers who have forgotten their true God will suffer retribution together. Retribution. If what I'm saying makes you shiver with fear. It might not be too late for you to become a believer of the Scarlet King. <laughs> Can you tell us more about the Oracle? <laughs> I don't have anything to say to you academia people about that. I think this conversation has reached its end. Interesting. Not just yet. <sighs> this man is a fraud. I'll hide the what the fuck? Hey, I'm not. You again? Oh, this guy. D deranged academia lunatic. Oh, that guy. Yes, okay. I love you. Thank again. you. I already warned you that if you weren't willing to sit and discuss things with me, God, his voice, I'd take dude. measures to make things uncomfortable for you. Jesus' his voice. That address he gave you is fake. Or at least, you won't find a merchant waiting for you there. This group has been boasting all around that they can provide information on a certain item as a means of luring people into their territory. Oh. Once you show up, they keep up the act until they have hard evidence that you want to purchase said item. Then they use that to squeeze you for all the more of your worth. Oh. Hey, shut it all, Haytham. What are you playing at trying to ruin our business like this, hmm? I told you the other day. I wish to discuss my terms with your boss. Ha! The boss made it perfectly clear that he won't negotiate with you. Yes, and in no uncertain terms. But that was then. It does not preclude him from changing his mind in the future. God damn, I'm okay. I'm warning you, don't push us, or this could get ugly. We don't usually get rough with people from the academia because it just complicates things. For a lunatic like you, though, we might just have to make an exception. If you're suggesting that we escalate this from a verbal exchange to a physical one, I accept. Oh, shit. After all, even the Archons <laughs> used war to negotiate the ownership of Tavat. If, on the other hand, we can't agree on any means of negotiation at all, then I'm afraid my next course of action will sting a little more than the mere falling through of a few business deals. What the I fuck? I will jeopardize the Aramite's reputation, <laughs> which I know you value above all else. I am quite confident that if I began to take such action, your boss would willingly approach me himself. However, I fear that by then, some things will have happened that cannot be undone. Also, a word of advice. I suggest you tell your boss exactly what happened here today. Otherwise, he might blame you for not telling him in the future. Jesus! What did you say? You fucking heard. Consider this. Have I ever failed to follow through on my word in the past? This guy is really out of his mind. You sure about okay, that? Okay then, if you really have a death wish, let's meet a week from today. The pier in front of the Pharos Lighthouse, four o'clock in the afternoon, sharp. What the fuck? Don't expect us to hold back. <laughs> you don't give a Not shit, so dude. fast. First, you return the 500,000 more to them. My man. Give me that shit. <laughs> Thanks. My man here, here's the 50 we were Please, gonna give them. I beg you, don't provoke them. We can't afford any trouble with this crowd. They haven't even paid for their food yet. Eh, take it out of the 500,000 more. Uh, Mr. Iman, there appears to be fewer staff in the restaurant recently. Dude, his outfit is so this fucking sick. Because they're all busy spreading the word to the students. Holy what shit, look at him. I, uh, well... <laughs> Someone who chooses to do business with a group like that really can't afford to get so flustered the instant someone confronts them about it. Consider the meal compensation for our silence. Oh. I'd say you're getting an excellent deal. God damn, oh, he knows a lot. Did you see that? He not only got us our Mora back, but sent the Emirates running too. Plus, he seems to know a lot about what's going on around here. Let's catch up with him and ask some questions. I'm down. Uh, chat, y'all going on about his arms being like super muscly and stuff? Dude, are they? Wait up! It's Al Haytham, right? 
Hello, I'll hi them. What hey do you them. want? Uh, thank you for your help back there. No need for thanks. My goal was to get to them, and you two gave me just the opportunity I needed. We're even. Oh, I advise you to keep your distance from them. Since they weren't able to make off with your Mora in the end, they might harass you again in the future. True. <sighs> All right. Goodbye. No, no, no. Hey. Hold your horses. We still have something to ask you about. <sighs> Since you tore through their scam right in front of them, you must know the real story about a... Ahem. <clears throat> certain something, no? Who exactly are you two? <laughs> and why are you inquiring about that? I'm a student from the academia. <laughs> a student. <laughs> right. Look, you should know that those thugs conducting business with you had nothing to do with your lie. Perhaps we could also talk terms. No, I, I don't think it's about soul play. Huh? Oh, yeah. He's really strong. Weren't you saying something about a physical exchange? We can help with that. I don't think he needs help. He doesn't even have a vision. Forget it. Listen, bitch. Maybe not, but he can still use elemental energy. Otherwise, there's no way we'd go asking for info from I'm... I'll... I... Um... From guys like that. He doesn't even have a vision. He doesn't even have a vision. Uh, fuck off. I can fucking make rocks come up out of the ground, dude, and, and shoot fucking lightning and shit. Those high-headed thugs are definitely gonna bring a lot of backup for your next meeting even if you don't go alone you won't regret taking us with you hmm uh-huh uh... <sighs> all right yes i accept got a pen and paper if you're searching for someone who sells that kind of merchandise i'll give you one of their addresses and you can try your luck huge we'll reconvene at the appointed time by the pier it doesn't matter if you show up or not. Um. So Damn. Okay, dude. Are you happy to give us this merchant's information? Does that mean you can tell us exactly what we're after? You were willing to part with five hundred thousand mora for something, and you didn't even know what it was. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, if you truly are as skilled as you claim, then you can beat the answer out of them when they become hostile. Look, if you've been making inquiries, then you have to know something by now. Tell me what you know so far, so I don't waste time repeating information. We know it's connected to the academia somehow, and that not only do the Aramites deal in it, but some students want to get a hold of it too. Hmm, what else? Uh, it seems like some kind of knowledge. You know Obviously. almost everything there is to know, but you're unable to compile this information because you've never seen the object before. This is what you've been looking for. What the fuck? Huh? Paimon can't tell what it is. That's not the capsule. It looks like some kind of ornament. This is a knowledge capsule. To put it simply, it's a vessel that can store a fixed quantity of canned knowledge. Huh? It's like a miniature Akasha. Anyone who links it to their personal Akasha terminal instantly becomes privy to its contents. Where did he put it? Where's it gone? <laughs> I know where he put it. Anyone? Correct. Anyone. Unlike the Akasha, which heavily regulates who can access what information, knowledge capsules can further contents without any requisites. That's amazing. It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. It's essentially a convenient and harmless vestibule for knowledge. Unfortunately, it's illegal in Sumeru to privately possess or trade them. They were created as a means for scholars to transfer knowledge gained from Ermansoul into the Akasha and are intended to be destroyed immediately after use. Well, that worked out, but clearly. despite strict regulations, some of these knowledge capsules will always escape destruction. After all, there will always be those in this world who are dissatisfied with life as designed for them by the Akasha and wish to change their fate. Hmm. Over the past century, a wide variety of canned knowledge has been leaked from the academia. Now, the Port Ormos, the valuable ones are a means to Mora for the Aramites. I don't like the term canned knowledge. Those which the Aramites deem to be useless to them occasionally prove useful to the common citizens and hapless academia students. Well, I think that about sums it up. I heard the academia lost something recently. Seems like it's a knowledge capsule. Oh, so that's your true objective. 
I just want to learn more about it. With our current arrangement, I don't believe I can offer an answer. Perhaps we can negotiate further? <sighs> You're still resolved. Yep. Fine. Let's talk somewhere with fewer people. Alright, huge. Pog, let's go, dude. Fuck yes. I'll hide them. Maybe in my bedroom. Hey. Iron? That ain't no fucking iron, dude. That's that's not dilute this jade. Give me what's short of the box. The fuck? Okay. Let's continue our conversation here. If you wish to learn more about the knowledge capsule that the Academia lost, then you must help me with something. What is it? I need you to find someone named Dory, <gasps> a traveling merchant. Yeah. Unlike the peddlers who hawk inferior knowledge capsules, she often has quality goods in stock. Some say <laughs> that as long as there is profit to be made, there is nothing she won't dare to sell. She's guarded against people from the academia because most of her wares don't comply with academia regulations. That's very fair. I think she blacklisted me. I met with her informant, but it soon became clear that they had no intention of letting me get any further. Become one of Dory's customers and earn her trust. This is my condition for further collaboration. I think that's doable. Why do you want us to meet with her? Until you complete this task, you oh. don't have question privileges. <sighs> I sneezed. So how do you go about doing this? You two are outlanders who haven't been here for long, so Dory should view you as safe clients. I'll give you the informant's address and their contact password. Beyond the password, though, I have no way of knowing what other tricks she might have up her sleeve. You'll have to improvise. Damn, okay, she has a claymore. Uh, this is kind of nerve-wracking. Agreed. The true challenge begins after you meet her. She has a keen nose for Mora and a shrewd eye for wares. And she only likes customers who she deems to have good taste. Well, fuck. I'll prepare some funds for you. Buy her highest quality wares and earn her approval. What? We only just saw a knowledge capsule for the first time. We don't know how to tell which ones are good and which ones are bad. Uh, is that something we can learn quickly? Probably. Hmm, I'll just that's guess. True. Have you two heard oh, of God. Elemental Sight? Yes, I could use it. Oh, that's a surprise. Uh. I guess I'll have to hold you in higher regard. Anyway, that ability should resolve your issue. Hold me to what now? You want to hold me? Okay. Here are two knowledge capsules. Tell me, can you detect any difference in their quality? N not if you keep me in a cutscene. Um, they look the same to Paimon. Try inspecting them with elemental sight. Okay. Ah, oh, one's glowing with random bullshit. Let's the other go. one's just green. Did you see anything? Yeah. Uh, the one with the less shines Rumor brighter. has it that higher quality knowledge capsules generally appear brighter when viewed through elemental sight. That's because knowledge originates from Ermensoul, the root of Dendro power itself. The more powerful the knowledge, the richer it is in Dendro energy. However, some canned knowledge with a high concentration of elemental energy is of little use in contemporary times, so those capsules are of little value. Okay, Using fair. elemental sight is merely a stopgap measure, but it should suffice for earning Dory's trust. That sounds pretty impressive. It also makes perfect here's a sheet sense. with the informant's location and contact password, and here is the mora for purchasing canned knowledge. <laughs> Don't be cheap. You'll need to spend to hell. catch Dory's eye. If there's any more left over, just keep it. Pog oh, did. And be sure to exercise some caution. There have been Matra present in Port Ormos lately. Your efforts will be for naught if they catch you. That sucks. Matra? Uh. They belong to the Academia's regulatory body. They also handle cases of illegal canned knowledge transactions. Jesus like Christ. I said, the Academia has banned both their trade and possession. The Matra are razor sharp. You're in for nothing good if they lock their sights onto you. If you two want to back out, now's the time. Ah, I'm willing to take that risk. I'll help you find Dory. Okay, then we have a deal. If you succeed in your dealings with Dory, come find me at the Wikela Funduk. We'll have an open discussion then. Makes sense. That's fair. Hello. What are you two looking to buy? Uh... Shit, did he tell me this? <laughs> Fuck. Unripe. <laughs> what a unique palette. 
We have unripe horror fruits, but we usually keep them in the back. I'll have someone escort you. Right? Please tell me that's Following right. The paper got us past the first round. Ronak, these two want to buy unripe horror fruits. Hell yeah, Show dude. Them to the warehouse. Hell yeah. You too. Please follow me. You two have a fascinating fashion sense. Thanks. We haven't seen a customer wearing a Sumeru rose for quite some time. What? Uh, hold on. Let me think. Sumeru rose means common merch. What the fuck? You call me common? No, look again. We're obviously wearing morning flowers. Ah, my mistake. I do apologize. I gotta read the paper, dude. Where the fuck is it? What the fuck? Holy fucking shit. This quest is already six hours long. I'm gonna pass out at the end of this shit, dude. <sighs> that pop quiz sure was scary. Yeah, I forgot, like, all uh, of it already. The warehouse is up ahead. Please follow me. Well, I'm not eating your fucking food, then, if they got spiders in it, dude. Hello? Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Just trial and error it? It depends how long it takes. Nah, we'll see. We'll see. Before I can I remember. Products, I need to confirm a few things. Go on. Uh, please forgive me, but oh, we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our horror fruits were taken by mice. Sold to customers. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. If better goods come in, you'll be the first to know. Fucking knew it. You look like you have some skill. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? Heat stroke. We just read that, I think. Didn't we? No, that's not it. Fuck. The paper said that heat stroke is the answer to erudition. What the fuck is erudition? Uh, eating something that causes heat stroke sounds horrifying. This whole thing is horrifying, Paimon. I don't want to have uh, to think. I'm sorry. But as things currently stand, we won't be able to fulfill your order. He's cautious of us. Let's take a closer look at the paper that Al Haytham gave us. Bro, I've been doing a fucking quest for four hours. I don't want to look at no fucking paper, Paimon. I don't want to look at no fucking paper. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? Yep, that's the right answer. Okay. But eating horror fruit that makes your head and ears ring sounds like a bad life decision. Yeah, it does. Would you like your horror fruits to be packaged in the Sumero City or Port Ormo style? Port Ormo? Wow. You two we sure bulk. are generous customers. We'll be sure to package your products beautifully. I see. I would have assumed okay. uh, small to Everything be discreet, has been but confirmed. Miss Dory is waiting for you up at. Shoot! It's the Matra. Run! You stupid fuck! What? I need my the shit. The Matra? Where? I'll hate them. we're done for if they catch us. We gotta get out of here. Oh fuck! Has he just robbed me, dude? We don't know this area, so let's follow that informant. What? What the fuck is going on? Wait, the fuck? This way? <laughs> Oh, there it is. Blind? I'm not blind. I'm not blind. I'm tired, chat. I woke up at fucking 7 a.m. this morning, okay? 7 fucking a.m. It's currently 9 p.m. I'm a tired boy, okay? Why do you think I was gonna do this in two parts? Look, he's over there! Okay, well, chase him! Stop putting me in cutscenes and just chase the fucker, dude! <laughs> oh, God. I don't even know this, dude. Just some weird code words. If you're hiding from the Rishbalan tiger, come this way! Another password! Huh? Oh, that what? voice came from behind. Oh. Here, over here. Dory! You can stop running now. Uh, oh shit, hello? The fuck? Dude, that clap was so fast, holy so shit. You were the one who was calling out to us just now. But, uh, are we definitely gonna be safe here? These two good customers wish to buy some horror fruit, Miss Dory. And if there's nothing else, I'll just excuse myself. Oh, very good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Huh? Wait, you're Dory? I'm unsure thought you'd look a whole lot scarier. Don't judge what by its cover. Hey, what are you trying to say, Princess Pea Brain? I can be scary enough when I need to be, believe you me. If you don't watch what you say, then you can forget about doing any business. But it seems you two have actually done pretty well so far. What the hell? Not only did you manage to find the informant, your reactions were also pretty sharp. What the fuck? You don't really look like criminals or anything, but I bet my Mora that you've been involved in some shady dealings. Yes, yes. You? All of the shady dealings. A lot of them. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a compliment, but 
We'll take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't risk doing business with people who start huffing and puffing after just a few paces. True. No matter how much more they might have. Not only will they get caught by the Matra, but they'll also get us into trouble. As decent folks trying to run an honest business. We don't need any of that. Wouldn't you agree? Honestly, yeah, I'd agree. So that's why I prefer to have customers like you. It's your first time here, but don't worry. I won't ask too many questions. Even if you wish to buy enough knowledge capsules to decorate your house with. Jesus. Please, knock yourself out. As long as you have lots of round, shiny Mora, then we're all good. Could you show us your products? <laughs> yes, of course, of course. Go ahead. Help yourselves. Voila. <laughs> Wait, I want to see the pro. Oh, wow. Jesus. She'd probably be in serious trouble if the Matra caught her with all this. Yep, you don't what say. What kind of products do you seek, my dear customers? Oh, don't worry, I'm not interested in your reasons for buying. I can, however, offer some suggestions. Take this one, for example. An analysis of the sociological ideology and dialectics of the Hillichurls. <laughs> Only three people in all of Tevat have ever studied it, making it extremely rare. Hey, that'd it's be a good one. For 350,000 Mora. That'd be a good one for fucking Ella Musk. <laughs> Yeesh. Who would want to be an expert in that topic? Ella Musk. Or how about the architectural styles and construction methods of Tevat in the early Argon War period? With this one, you can become an expert in historic architecture preservation mm. and find an excellent, well-paying job in nearly any nation. Interesting. Ooh, okay. That sounds like it could be useful. Two million Mora, and it's yours. Two and fucking million? Whoa, that's a lot of Mora! I'm stealing it. Of course, you are free to pick whatever your hearts desire. The contents and price of each knowledge capsule are indicated in small text on the body of each one, down at the bottom. All right, let's try the method that I'll hate them mentioned. Uh, oh yeah! <laughs> uh, elemental sight time. Oh fuck, they're like, wait, one, two, three? Three glowing? I'll take this one! And this one! What is this anime moment, dude, as well as this one? <sighs> You've really got a good head on your shoulders and quite the eye for quality. You pick and choose a variety of canned knowledge. We'll take these, please and thank you. My oh my, you are blessed with a taste for both the exquisite and the extravagant. Customers like you are a rare breed. One in a hundred. No, one in a thousand even. Easy. Now listen, I have a special offer for you two. If you spend just 100,000 more and more, you can pick any knowledge capsule Scam. of your choice up to a value of Dude, 1 million more. That is such an obvious now. scam. That's such an obvious scam. Oh, did you hear that? Spend another 100k and we get a capsule worth a whole million. Don't let it trick you into spending more. Wait. We just bought is easily worth half a million more. If we spend just a little more, we can get something <sighs> worth one million more. Isn't that a fantastic deal? Think about it. We've gone to all this trouble to get this can knowledge, and so far, everything we've bought belongs to all Hatham. Yeah, I swear Aren't to God. I'm the least bit curious dead. about how this whole can knowledge thing works. We're talking instant knowledge here. Don't you want to try it yourself? No, also, I fucking swear to god, it is Dory that scammed Ito for the fucking drum along festival drum. I it, it has to be. I saw it on Twitter the other day. It's gotta be, dude. It has to be. It just makes so much sense. Uh I think the other one is curious. Come on, come on. We still have around a hundred thousand of Al Hatham's more left. Oh my fucking so god. Let's put it to good use by finding something useful for you. No! Ahem. You've got a deal, Dory! We'd like to spend an extra one hundred thousand mora. You know, if only the traveler had a fucking voice of their fucking own, Paimon! Excellent! And then please select from this fine collection of canned knowledge over here. <sighs> Oh my lord, dude. Uh, hold on a second. Paima thought we could choose whatever we wanted. Why can't we choose the ones from over there? 
Oh, but my dear customer, the knowledge capsules over here are worth one million more each. I'm sure discerning customers like yourselves will be able to find something to your liking. Please, take your time. God fucking damn it. Oh, Paimon has a bad feeling about this. Let's use Elemental Sight again to check these. Uh, maybe we should just pass this time. <gasps> Why? Let's just see for our mental health. Hey, we're getting a capsule worth a million mora here. Don't be such a party pooper. Well, anyway, the mora's already been spent, so let's at least try to find something useful. Fine. Let Paimon take a look here. Jesus Christ. An introduction to traditional Sumeru brewing techniques, the art of growing spices, an overview of ancient runes. Oh, how about this one? Sword fighting techniques eight. Yeah, let's learn to parry. Sure never find volumes one through seven, but at least this knowledge should be useful, right? Let's go with this one. Whatever makes Paimon happy. Dory, we'll take this one. <sighs> All right, very good. I'm expecting some new goods in the next couple days, so be sure to check back again soon. Whether it's canned knowledge or anything else you need, bring your Mora to Dory and doors will open. Maybe she did it so we keep a good working relationship again, with Dory. Dory went smoothly enough, let's head to Wakala Funduk and meet up with Alhatham. I'm gonna fucking give her the benefit Hopefully, of the doubt. Well, finally tell us about what the Academia lost. I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt, chat, and say the reason is because she wants the fucking the working relationship to still be good. Huh. You two made it. Yes. And from the looks on your faces, you were successful. Mm-hmm. Whoa. There's so many people from the academia here. Why would you pick this place as our meetup spot? Well, Wikela Funduk is under the academia's control. Okay, so Mr. Abs. The academia has people working here. I came to Port Ormos under the pretense of conducting official business. You're a pretty daring guy. True. Relax. No one here is interested in anything we say, and the Macher won't come here. <sighs> okay, now, tell me how your encounter with Dory went. Awful. You bring Al Haitham up to date and give him the canned knowledge you purchased. Okay, you did what you asked. So, can you tell us about the knowledge capsule that the Academia lost now? Please do. Before that, I have to ask, why are you two so intent on tracking it down? You don't have to answer, of uh, course. It's not a secret, we just want to beat the Dandro Archon. Yeah, he just wants to meet the God of Wisdom and ask her about something important. We've been in Sumeru for a while now, but we still haven't found a way. When we heard that the Academia had lost something that might be related to the gods, we came here in case it turned out to be our lucky break. In that case, you're on the right track. Ooh. A short while ago, the Academia lost a knowledge capsule in the desert. <gasps> it's supposedly a divine knowledge capsule. Use it, and you'll gain the wisdom of the gods. So that part's in the fucking desert. We're not there yet. That's the fucking trailer line, dude. Shit. Wow. There's really such a thing as that? Hey, if we find it, <laughs> do you think we can learn how to meet the Dendro Archon? Ooh, or how to find your sister? I highly doubt it has any mystical properties, but it does indeed exist. And it's right here, in Port Ormos. Oh. So, where exactly? That's what we need to find out next. Your goal is to find it too? I won't deny that. I am investigating because I'm curious as to what the Divine Knowledge Capsule truly is. As you know, the Eremites in Port Ormos also have their eyes on it. It is an extremely precious item. The knowledge contained within may bring great power or wealth to whoever has it in their possession. Well, in the wrong hands. Several brigades have been vying <laughs> for ownership of it That'd as be of awful. late, but there is still no victor. My personal finances and connections cannot compete with those of the Aramites. After attempting various methods, I finally managed to reach a tentative agreement with several brigades. I agreed to forego ownership of the Divine Knowledge Capsule in exchange for the opportunity to study it. After all, there's no harm in understanding what it is. However, there are those who are less amenable to negotiation, such as those from Ayn al-Akhmar. Oh. They adamantly believe that the Divine Knowledge Capsule contains the Scarlet King's power, and that he will return to this world when they obtain it. 
they refused to let anyone from the academia tarnish their deity <sighs> soul. Fuck, dude. So you kept harming them because they refused to cooperate with you? <sighs> yes. <laughs> I know Ahmar isn't exactly wealthy. But yes. His members are determined to get that capsule by any means necessary. To that end, they've resorted to many methods more foul than fair in order to amass sufficient funds. So, I've been sabotaging their business to force them into negotiating with me. Five head. The divine knowledge capsule should be up for a secret auction within the next few days. Each brigade will place their own bid, and the prize will be covertly given to the winner. To ensure the capsule's security and to evade the mantra's notice, the winning brigade will not publicly disclose their victory. Unless I know whose hands the divine knowledge capsule ends up in, my agreements with them will fall through. Ah. Dory is the most reliable source of information, but that avenue was previously closed to me. With you on board now, the situation is different. That makes sense. In other words, you wanted us to befriend Dory so you could find out where the divine knowledge capsule is. Yes, you can say that. But this arrangement harms none of us. The day after tomorrow, go back to Dory and try to purchase information oh, on not the again, Divine dude. Knowledge Capsule's whereabouts. Oh, God. If she has no information, wait two days and approach her again. <laughs> Shit. If I get the opportunity to study the Divine Knowledge Capsule, I will relay my findings to you. Will that suffice as compensation? I'd say so, honestly. That's exactly what I want. Thank you. Okay. Then we'll meet up in two days. Um, oh, hey, Thum. Before you go... We actually bought a knowledge capsule for ourselves, but we're not sure how to use it. <laughs> you two want to try using a knowledge capsule? Sure, I can teach you. Oh! Doing so right under the academia's nose is a bit problematic, though. What do you say we head to the outskirts of town? Holy shit, okay. Wait, wait he's actually teaching us how to fucking use it? Alright, let's do it. Alright, this place works. Show me the capsule you purchased. It is. Pyball's got it. Hmm. Sword fighting techniques eight. Huh. A combat class knowledge capsule. This class is something of a rare find these days, since most have been taken by the Aramites to augment their battle capabilities. Really? Ah, oh, yeah. What a great buy! That's not going to affect want to determine us. The efficacy of this capsule. I can evaluate your combat ability. However, effects will likely be minimal if you already possess a high amount of strength. So we can use knowledge capsules to affect our strength. I'm calling it, chat. We're going to get a portion of our fucking power back in Sumeru. I, I'm calling it right now. We can conduct 100%. a controlled experiment where you fight two battles. One before using this knowledge capsule and one after. While you fight, we can use an Akasha terminal to monitor your various physical parameters. There may be variances in your physical strength between the two tests, as well as a disparity in your opponent's abilities. But don't worry. I'll run statistical analyses afterward to mitigate any confounding effects. Okay. I guess that makes wow. sense. Wow! Oh, hey, Thum! You must have been one of those guys at the academia who got top grades <laughs> on everything! He's um, a smart boy. Paimon's curious about something, though. You definitely weren't one of those students who needed canned knowledge to graduate from the academia, right? Huh. So why are you risking getting caught by the mantra for this capsule? Shit. I'm also curious about this. When you are unable to understand a researcher's actions, most cases can be attributed to curiosity. This is but one theory. A game theory. <laughs> mm, sounds like you're trying to avoid the question. All right. Let's begin the test. Just fight as you normally do. Can I fight you? Please? <laughs> Fuck. Okay, we're gonna go fight. Fuck it, I guess. Dude, they're like already fucking dead. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Scatter! Oh. Let's go! <laughs> Alright. I'll link your Akasha terminal to record data. Huge. The next step is to use this knowledge capsule. Hold it in your hand. I'll help you establish a connection with it so you can activate its power. He did avoid the question, but very blatantly as well. Inject it into my... I'll hide them, Aussie. As if I saw countless sword-wielding figures fight in one moment, and then in the next they disappeared into the recesses of my memory. What the fuck? Hey, how are you feeling? Ah. <laughs> uh, I felt something for a moment. Whatever was inside the knowledge capsule became part of my memory. You mean that it worked? All right. 
Time for round two. No way. Fight with the same composure as before. No way. It didn't do shit, I'll hide him. It didn't do fucking shit, dude. Nothing. It's the fucking same. You Let lied to me. me. I don't think it did shit, dude. I don't think it did shit. Now, I'll start recording data again. Okay. Oh, hey, Thumb. How's it going? Well, the knowledge capsule you purchased did improve his combat capability. During the second fight, his overall fighting performance increased by 0.073%. Wait, how much? The fuck? That's probably just because I knew what I was going into. I fucking what warned you. you. I warned you, Pipeline, shut up, shut up. I fucking told you. Of course, you. this could be because he is so powerful that the capsule's contents were unable to produce a substantial increase. God fucking damn it, dude. At the very least, this test allowed me to gain more insight into you two. Our deal seems increasingly worth my investment. Oh, you were sussy as fuck. I'm heading back to Akela Funduk. I await your response in two days' time. That's a cool fucking name. This is more of for when you ask Dory for information. Pay her as much as she requests. Okay. Brian getting scammed live. I knew I was getting scammed, dude. It's wild. Dude, the music's so banging. Hello, Dory. Here, over here. Oh, welcome back, my loyal patrons. What can I do for you this time? Not fucking scam me is what you can do. You name it. Can knowledge, supplies, or anything else you need. I'll find a way to get it. Where there's a waterfall of Mora, there's a way. Can you really get us anything we want? Anything at all? Uh-huh. So it appears the canned knowledge alone is no longer sufficient for your opulent appetite. Mm-hmm. <sighs> then please, oblige me. Tell me what you have in mind. Oblige me? Is that the right? Oblige? Isn't it like indulge? I'd like to buy info on the whereabouts of the divine knowledge capsule. Oh, my new customers with pockets as deep as yours would undoubtedly crave something more profound than ordinary canned knowledge. But you know, that kind of information isn't going to be cheap. How much? After all, I had to work really hard to weasel my way into the auction site. And not to mention that if anyone found out that I was the leaker, leaker! I'd be in big, big trouble. I am never using this character. Fucking leaker. Leaks! You! You leaky little fucking leaker. But how can we be sure your information is accurate? Yeah, I'm not curious it's leaks. How you just happen to have this kind of info the moment we need it. She's a fucking data miner, dead. <laughs> because to me, anything of value is what I consider to be my supply. Therefore, I must always be aware of what's hot on the market in order to secure more sales. Fair, fair, fair. As for the information's authenticity, well... You've no need to worry about that. I used a camera to take a picture of the transaction. That way, no one can dispute it. Name me a price, I'll buy it. It's always a pleasure doing business with such sterling patrons. How much? <clears throat> now that you've paid in full, here's the scoop. The Anything less than five million? Purchased yesterday by a certain or user, more? The leader of Ein El Ahmar. Ein El Ahmar? You mean the Aramines who worship the Scarlet King? Yep. Ah, so you're already familiar with them. The group has done everything in their power to obtain the Divine Knowledge Capsule. After all, they believe it contains the power of the Scarlet King. But doesn't, right? The Divine Knowledge Capsule is unlike any other canned knowledge I've seen before. It was glowing bright red. Wait, dude, it probably does contain the knowledge of the of the Scarlet King, and it probably can revive him. And maybe if that random Eremite guy used it and turned into a fucking robot, that might be what happened. The Scarlet King. The capsule is clearly visible in the picture I took. You can look for yourself. Thanks for the info, Dory. Please, it's my pleasure. Huh. It's all thanks to discerning customers such as yourselves that my efforts yesterday were not in vain. Please, don't hesitate to contact me if you ever need anything else in the future. More up for Dory, open stores. Did she ever say how much? Yesterday has it been two days? True, yeah, two days. Yeah, oh, hey, two Joe, days. We got the info you wanted. Really? All right. Let's hear it. Uh, it's in the hands of the of Ain Al Amar. Is that right? Ain Ain Al Amar. The very group we're about to face. 
Dory even gave us evidence to verify the intel. Have a look. Huh, look at that. Clear as day. Oh, God. It must have taken some guts just to infiltrate the scene of the Aramite's transaction. Mm -hmm. But then, to get close enough to take a picture like this. Bold move, Dory. <laughs> Very bold move. <laughs> All right. The person in this picture is indeed Misery, the leader of Ain al Ahmar. And the glowing red capsule he's holding appears to be the Divine Knowledge Capsule. In which case, if we play our cards right, when we confront them next week, we should be able to force them to show their hand. True. At first, Paimon didn't get why you were provoking these Ain el Ahmar guys. But now, it sort of makes sense. Everything's playing right into your hand. Hey, he's smart, dude. He's very we fucking small. Them, we can finally have a serious talk with their boss and get them to lend us the divine knowledge capsule. Thank you for your time and efforts. Bro, they ain't gonna lend Take us a few shit. Days off while I make some preparations. Let's meet up again on the afternoon of the arranged date, three o'clock sharp. We'll be there. See you then. Be there or be square, I guess. The fuck? A few days later on the day of the meeting with Ain al Ahmal. Oh, hey, I'm sure he's taking his time. Where could he be? Oh, there he is. You said three o'clock sharp. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's head to the pier in front of Faro's lighthouse. Yep, let's go. The fuck? I love how we're just so trusting of this random dude that we pretty much just met, dude. He's hot, so it's okay. Child didn't teach us shit. Nope. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. I'll hate them. I knew you were crazy, but I didn't know you were crazy enough to actually show up. Oh, you motherfuckers. It was I who demanded that these negotiations take place. I was more worried that you might go back on your promise. Kill him. But to your credit, it appears that you're sticking to your word. I'll stick this to you. This is turning into quite an occasion. I also brought <laughs> some backup. I assume you don't mind. Backup? <laughs> Aren't you the brat from the restaurant the other day? You've come to support this lunatic because he helped you out? Yeah, pretty Fine. much. Fine, your funeral. <laughs> yeah, okay, dude, of course. I'm not going to mince my words. Once we're done with you, you'll be nothing more than fish food. Get him, boys! You stupid motherfucker. Uh-oh, here they come. Uh, uh, good luck, you two. It's going to be like one slash, dude, from either of us, probably. <laughs> yeah! Oh, oh shit! Academia scum! <laughs> <sighs> Boss! Finally! Oh Did fuck. You use it? Great! Now we can. Huh? Oh, we're already at this part, dude? B Boss? All of this in fucking act one? <laughs> Oh shit! Boss! Oh, oh, boss! What's wrong? What happened to him? Oh my we god! We have to the connection now. Jesus! What? Target acquired. Arrest him. Do not impede our work. Is that understood, all Hatham? Of course. Holy shit! I was shit. only trying to help. Shit, dude! Take him away! Oh, he pocketed it! You fucking beauty! Dude, he gives me child vibes. He does. He gives me child vibes. World, forget me. Oh, that's fucking weird. Oh god, it's so weird, dude. What is going on? Holy shit, that cutscene though. The fighting. Wait, I wonder if I wonder if Ruka 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 fuck. You know who I mean. I fucking forget the name or how it's pronounced. I gotta learn it properly. You know what I mean though, chat. I wonder if 
They were the Red King. I don't know. It looks like he used the Divine Knowledge Capsule. You mean Ruka the Divine the better. Knowledge Capsule did that to him? Speaking of which, Hypatia did mention. Oh, yeah. You mean how some researchers go insane after getting knowledge from Ermensoul? I've heard of numerous incidents of researchers in Satyavada life going insane. Dude, that cutscene was the so sick. The state that man is now in suggests that this is a similar situation. That cutscene was so this good. This divine knowledge capsule does appear to be linked to the gods, but beyond that, it doesn't seem anything like the rumors suggest. Possessing it doesn't grant you divine wisdom or power. Bruh, chat. Okay, sorry. Fucking first things first, I gotta say, if that's the cutscene we're getting in Act 1 of the fucking Archon Quest for a random-ass battle between al and this random fucking divine knowledge did, it probably doesn't even have a big part in the story. Can you imagine what, like, the, the sino al fight fight's gonna be like if they fight with Dea and stuff, like in the, in the PV little thing that we got? Dude, it's gonna be so fucking good! I'm so excited! Holy shit! And Tatore, maybe? Dude. I feel like Sumeru is going to be absolutely fucking insane for the entire thing. It's going to be so wild. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Did you hear what he said? World, forget me. Exactly. What could that possibly mean? I know what it is. From the Omen Soul Tree, it was actually what the, the last Archon said, I think. See, I told you, I am the Traveler. That's exactly what I heard before, if Omen Soul. took him away, then that means the Academia got the Divine Knowledge Capsule back too. Oh, what a shame. We were so close. Pull it out, I'll hide them. Well, Paimon didn't expect the Divine Knowledge Capsule would be so dangerous. Imagine if we tried to open it. Oh, who knows what would have happened to us? As things stand, there is no reason for me to remain in Port Ormos. I believe our collaboration has also hey, reached its end. I'll hide them, pull oh, it out, show we us! We were so busy trying to find the Divine Knowledge Capsule that Paimon forgot to ask you something. Since you're a member of the Academia, do you have any idea how we could go about meeting Lesser Lord Kusanali? Truthfully, I don't. Lesser Lord Kusanali appears to exist outside of Sumeru's entire administration. Don't fold your Most arms, of the bitch! Time, you wouldn't know she exists at all. I'm getting child vice from it with the Gnosis bullshit. Give us it! Or share it! Since the Academia possesses the Akasha, a symbol of our deity's wisdom, Scholars have no reason to desire to make contact with the deity herself anyway. Uh, everything about Lesser Lord Kusanali is such a mystery! I'm heading back to the Academia. How about you two? Uh, it's almost the day of the Sub-Zero's festival! Maybe we should head back too. We've been rushed off our feet over the past few days, so maybe a little rest and relaxation will do us good! You have a point, let's return to Sumeru City. Damn, that's so sus, dude. That's so sus. Hmm. Now, do I deal with this thing first? Or should I produce the report that the higher-ups require? Who? Who now? You sussy little backer. Oh, wait, that was it? Holy shit! Whoa! Dude, I had no idea that they were going to be this fucking long, honestly. Uh, I'm down to do Act 2 tomorrow, though. It's fucking long. Act 2 is longer. Holy goddamn. What a fucking first day, though. Holy shit. That was so good, though. Chat, what are your thoughts on Sumeru at the minute? Out of 10. What would you honestly say out of 10 at the minute? 9. Fucking 100. 9 out of 10. 8.5. Yeah. I'd give it a I'd give it a 9 currently, right now. And I haven't even done much yet. But right now, I'd give it a 9. For sure. You know what? I'm going to be honest with you, chat. Right now, I'm giving it a 9. I reckon, depending on how tomorrow goes with Act 2, dude, fucking depending depending on how fucking the desert area goes, it might be a 10. It might eventually go to a 10. It's kind of fucking nuts, dude. It's kind of fucking nuts. It is honestly wild.